welcome to Dragonfly Trading. My name is Carrie. I'm a full-time trader, mentor in the crypto and forex markets. Today's video, we're going to take a look at Bitcoin, ETH, the SPX, XRP, and the DXY. Not financial advice, just the way that I see the market. So we have been looking at this count for a very long time now. It's coming to a head and let's talk about it. The question is, is has Bitcoin bottomed? Has it bottomed in a Z wave and now it is ready to turn bullishly? Is Bitcoin going to hold and rally for a bigger X or B wave that could potentially take it to 40K? On the bearish side, is it going to roll over for a deeper Z wave? Or are we getting this partner leg now that would potentially take it much deeper with three corrections these are the questions on the table and we're going to talk about them okay so these questions all depend on the lower time frame because the lower time frame leads into the bigger time frame so we have had this bounce to the upside this bounce this five wave move to be bullish we want it to be the start of something and not the end of something. Five waves is always the start or the end of something. So let's talk about the bullish options first, and that is it's the start of something. The most bullish option is that it is ended in a Y wave, creating a larger Z, that it is going to be a wave one, this pullback will be a wave two, and that it will pivot bullishly for a wave three, four, and five. This would potentially lead to a bull run. Now I'm not particularly leaning that way, but it's possible. Also what this would create a larger three wave move, or, I'm sorry, a larger five wave move would also create a larger C wave where this would be A, this would be B, but pivoting in five waves can create a much larger C leading to that X or B wave we talked about on the higher time frame. Let's talk about the not so bullish option. The not so bullish option is that it would create an A, B, C and not be able to get through resistance and decide to consolidate larger in this area making more corrections in a consolidation still gives it the chance to create that Z wave and then pivot to the upside. Let's talk about the bearish options. The bearish options is that Bitcoin's going to roll over and that this five waves to the upside was a C wave, that it created an A, B, C for an X wave that it plans to make another three waves here for a Y wave. Now it does have the chance, like we've talked about in a prior video, of holding the expanded B pocket. Coming under 16,000 would be its last option to hold and pivot to the upside, where this would be a deeper expanded B wave. Coming under 16,000, it just, in my opinion, would not hold and would fall. The more mega bearish option is this has created a 1-2, 1-2 Coming over, 22,800 will invalidate this nest option. This would be very bearish for Bitcoin. We really don't want to see this happen. Coming over, 20,500 really increases the probabilities that this will not happen. But complete invalidation is 22,800. So we really need to break these highs to invalidate this mega bear option. Okay, so let's take a look at this impulse wave to the upside. It is a beautiful impulse wave, but it can be the end of something as a C, which means if this is the case, this is the start of something, this is a, going to be a connector, and then it's going to head to the downside. That would be the bearish option. Now the bullish option is that it's going to hold the 618. It has tapped the 0.5 right now. 
618 at 18,806 needs to hold because coming underneath that, there is nothing but insufficiency down here. The last hope would be that it holds this little support in between wave one and two, but coming underneath the 618 increases the probabilities greatly that this would be a B wave coming down and that it would just make a middle connector and then give this wave a potential partner that would be bearish and it wouldn't be able to get through resistance. What we really want to see is that it holds where it's at now or the 618 and pivots bullishly to the upside. Coming underneath 18131 is complete invalidation that this five waves is going to be the start of something. All right, let's take a look at ETH and what ETH's options are. The most bullish option is this wave to the upside was a wave one, that it is pulling back in three waves for a wave two. As you can see, it has hit the 618. The next level is the 786 at $1,050. We have to hold that. If ETH comes underneath $1,051, it doesn't have any more support and it will greatly run the risk of failure. Then it pivots for three, four, five, and this would mean that it's creating an impulse wave and potentially going back on a bull run. That's the most bullish option. A little less bullish is that it plans to rally in a three wave move creating an X or a B up much higher, probably into the $3,000 area. Again, it is going to need to hold this area. Coming underneath the 786, it would be bearish and it will not be able to pivot in this rally. If it can rally, it will create a connector for this WXY and give it a partner leg. The higher this can go, the much better because it means that this can, will be higher when it completes. And the last option is that it's going to come down in a three wave move and create a Z wave. Breaking these lows and when it creates this, if it does, then we will have to see what it does afterwards. Okay, so this is the area that it is currently bounced from. What it means is that the C wave could complete here as a two or a B coming underneath 1,190 would invalidate ETH being able to pivot to the upside bullishly. It would mean that it's pivoting from a two or a B creating an impulse wave or this becomes A, this is B and it goes for a very large C wave giving this leg a partner. The bearish option is that the C wave completed at this pivot, that this sideways action is an X wave and that it plans to go to the downside in three waves bearishly, either creating that C wave potentially. All right, let's take a look at the lower time frames. What we want to happen here is that this five waves, just like Bitcoin, is the start of something that it's going to pull back and hold the 618 at $1,246. Pivot up for a third, fourth, fifth. This can potentially be the start of something big or it is attached back here with an A, a B, and this creates a C wave. The bear option is that ETH created a three wave A, three wave B, and that this is the end of something creating a C wave that could not get through resistance. As you see, it hit the one to one at 1346. So it has hit an extension where it could have created a C wave. Coming over 1344 will invalidate that. This would mean that we're just pulling back in three waves and that it's going to head down bearishly, breaking this low. And that is where this potential X wave comes in, leading to a much deeper move. XRP. As you can see, we had this beautiful five wave move. We also have the potential 
that this is a leading expanding diagonal for a wave 1, that XRP is coming down in a wave 2. Coming under the low of 10 cents will invalidate this being a wave 1. Let's talk about if it invalidates it. Well, what it will mean to me is that it came down in three waves as a W, that this was just a three-wave move for an X or a B, looks like an X to me, and that now it's creating a W, X, Y, X, Z for a Y wave. That would be the best option for XRP. As you can see, this support here is critical. If it plans to come to the downside, it really needs to hold the last of this support for a Z wave. Otherwise, what's going to happen, it's going to invalidate this being the start of something. And it plans to come much deeper for a Y wave. This is the current bounce that we want to see come much higher. Because the higher that this comes, the better. Because if this is a bearish move, a correction to the upside, when it creates the Z leg, it will make the Z leg much higher. I see this as a 3, a 3, and a 3 wave, creating a WXY. But it can extend higher by making a connector here and giving this leg a partner to the upside. That is what needs to happen for XRP. As you can see, it has held support here very well. It needs to continue to hold it. We'll take a look at the lower time frame and talk about what needs to happen. XRP has created a three wave, three wave, five wave. This is a flat. It is a connector wave. What we don't want to see happen is that this wave here creates another connector. What that will mean is that this connector will need a partner connector on the other side, or it runs the risk of failure. To end off this connector without making a connector to it, it needs to use this five wave move. It needs to hold the 618 like the rest of the market at 46 cents. Use this three wave move to pivot bullishly to the upside. If it can pivot bullishly to the upside, it can give this leg a partner or this entire move a partner to the upside. It absolutely, absolutely has to hold 44 cents. This is the invalidation point for this pivoting bullishly. Let's talk about the DXY. In my last video, I talked about this potential ending diagonal because all of these waves look like three waves. If that is the case, this is a connector here, and this leg is potentially getting a partner, which would be bearish for Bitcoin. But let's talk about what else could be happening. The alternative is that it, this is a third wave that goes with this one and two, and that it is ready to complete a big fourth wave here. Pulling time on all of these fourth waves to the downside, not one of them have met requirement, minimum requirement for time. The fourth waves usually always hit time. So if it is coming now, we are looking at approximately January 30th to March 9th for this fourth wave to make itself, which would be significantly good for Bitcoin. Let's talk about how it could happen. This wave would be the first wave. Instead of going up for a fifth, it would be making a three-wave move here. Then this leg needs a partner that still would not be big enough for the fourth wave. It would then need to rally and make more of a fourth wave here all the way out to that time of January approximately. So after this leg is complete, this move to the downside would allow Bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies to rally. Let's take a look at the SPX. 
this is the wave that we want to be the start of something. We need it to pull back, hold the 618, and pivot. If it is the end of something, it means that this wave in the middle was a B wave. And the good news is that this wave really looks like five waves. And you cannot have five waves in a B wave. Now, does that mean that it is definite? Absolutely not. Coming underneath the low of 34.91 will invalidate this being the start of something. So when this opens, it really needs to hold and either consolidate more or pivot to the upside. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.